22-year-old Bradley Smith, in only his second year of racing, wins the Performance Direct Radical SR3 Challenge, beating over 70 races to win the 2014 Sunoco Rolex 24 at Daytona Challenge. The race seat in the Daytona prototype at the legendary Rolex 24-hour race in January. We arrived at Daytona Beach, Florida, where Bradley would get his first taste of driving a Daytona prototype around the bank track. But before he gets a chance to see the race car, he got to visit the Daytona building site where over $400 million is being invested to modernize the grandstand and fan facilities. Next on the program for day one was an in-depth lecture by Action Express regular driver Joao Barbosa. Although the layout is fairly easy to learn, it takes many laps to master, and as the whole idea is to get Bradley competitive, Joao's hints and tips help fast track Bradley's knowledge of the 31 degree banking. After meeting Elton Sawyer, team director and head of operations at Action Express Racing, it was time for Bradley to finally get to see the car he'll be testing for the next two days. The 2013 spec Action Express Corvette DP car. Somewhat of a monster compared to the Radical SR3 he's used to driving. Having the correct seat position is very important at 190 miles per hour. So Action Express mechanic Keith ensures that Bradley sits tight and comfortable in the race seat to ensure that he can concentrate on the daunting task of learning the demanding Daytona Speedway and the brutal Daytona prototype racer. After a long day of riding out the jet lag, it's time to get some sleep before the important and exciting day ahead. Day one of testing, but before Bradley gets to jump into the car, Action Express racer Christian Fittipaldi goes out on track to set a reference time of 1 minute 42.4 seconds on a green track to give Bradley something to compare lap charts to. Bradley can't wait to get into the car, and after a bit of last minute advice from Christian, he's ready to hit the track. One lap I went forth to here and just like going the limit. This will be the first time Bradley has driven something like this. The first time he has driven in America and the first time he has driven on a high speed bank track. His first few laps are steady, but quickly gets down to a confident and consistent time of 1 minute 46. Not bad considering he has never even driven anything without paddle shift, and braking from 190 miles per hour takes him getting used to. After a quick break, a refuel and a change of tyres, Bradley manages to bring his lap times down to a 1 minute 43 seconds by the early afternoon, before finishing the day on a 1 minute 42.2, even faster than the target time set by Christian Fittipaldi, and ending up faster than the 2013 spec Daytona prototypes in third overall, only beaten by two 2014 spec Daytona prototypes. Bradley did a great job, showing consistent speed and acclimatising to a new car so quickly. There are still lots to learn, but we are now very excited about the roll before the 24 and the big race itself. <laughs> 